Hello, today is my first day out of quarantine. During these 14 days, I had a lot of time to read about this island. And today I'm going to tell you what I've learned. Lesbos is the third largest uh, island in Greece. It's located on the eastern part of the Aegean Sea, very close to Turkey. The island has more or less uh, 90,000 inhabitants and one third of the population lives in the capital of the island, Mytilini. You might have heard about Lesbos these past years because of the situation with refugees. Because of the proximity with Turkey, Lesbos has been for a long time the transit area for refugees coming from Turkey. So over here, I'm quite far from Turkey, it's about 20 kilometers, but you can still see the shore of Turkey if you look over there. So over there is Turkey. This part is uh, north of Izmir. From January 2015, the traffic of refugees in Lesbos has intensified a lot because of the Syrian conflict. So instead of just passing through the island, many refugees are getting stuck here because of paperwork, because they are waiting for their permit to leave the island. So they are getting stuck here, sometimes for weeks, for months, or even for years. But Lesbos is not only known for this, the island has beautiful scenery. Look at this, for example. Look at that view. Look. And the water is clear. The island has beautiful monasteries, small villages, churches. And as it is an island, you can also find really nice beaches with crystal clear water. And in the center of the island, there are many beautiful mountains where you can do really cool hikes. There are only a few paved roads on the island, which leaves most of it uh, very natural. Actually, the term Lesbos comes from ancient Greek and means uh, forested or woody. More than 40% of the island is covered by olive trees and olive oil represents the biggest source of income of the island. There are also many hot springs uh, because of the volcanic origin but I didn't have the time yet to visit them. I wanted to do some talking a little bit here, but I think it's too noisy and too windy, and it's really dirty. When you hear Lesbos, does it make you think about something else? You might have guessed it, but Lesbos is a sanctuary for the LGBT community. The term lesbian actually originated in this place. It comes from a Greek poem by the poet uh, Sappho, who was born in Lesbos in the town of Eresos, a town that actually hosts a woman festival every year. So I arrived at the end of the trail and I really hate that when you have a path that is like two kilometers and at the end someone just put a house. It's super annoying and I don't think it's nice. Yeah, so let's go back. And finally, to finish this video, Lesbos is also the capital of the really famous Greek alcohol, Ouzo. So the most famous Ouzo here is produced in the city of Plomari, in the south of the island. And the most famous is called uh, Baba Yanis Ouzo, but they also produce smaller brands. And because I've been in quarantine for Two weeks, I didn't have any alcohol during this whole time, so I guess tomorrow night I'll have some ouzo. And this is the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, it's a really short introduction as I didn't have the time yet to go around the island, but as soon as I have more information, I'll tell you about it. And from next week there will also be my update about my volunteer experience in the refugee camp, so stay tuned and see you next week, bye.